Good morning and welcome back. We are still solving simultaneous equations by using the elimination method. Yeah? So two equations, solving them simultaneously yeah? at the same time, where the elimination method means we are trying to eliminate and get rid of one of the variables by either adding or subtracting the two equations. Okay. Now, and before I start eliminating, I always check are my x's, my y's, and then my numbers on top of each other, if you like. Yeah, are they in the same order? And in this case, they are. So that is fantastic. <coughs> now, analyzing the situation, I have to decide, do I want to get rid of the x or do I want to get rid of the y? And in the previous examples, the coefficients then of one of the variables were the same. Yeah, but 4x plus or minus 3x, well, I have eliminated x. 4x plus 3x is 7x, 4x minus 3x is x. So no, I cannot eliminate x yet. 2y plus 6y is 8y, and 2y minus 6y is minus 4y. So also the y variable I cannot eliminate right now by just adding or subtracting. What do I have to do? I have to manipulate one of the two equations, or both of them, they're completely free, yeah, and make sure that the coefficients of one of my variables become the same in each equation. Now, that is a very long sentence, probably lost you there halfway through. What do I mean? Well, 6y, for instance, and 2y. By which number can I multiply the first equation to make the 2 a 6, yeah? to turn the 2y into a 6y. Because when they're both 6y, then I could eliminate them by either plusing or minusing. So by what do I times this equation? Well, I'll times it by 3 indeed. And this one, I'll just leave it as it is. Because now the new situation, yeah, so the second one still is 3x plus 6y equals 6. And the top one, I multiply every term by 3, every term, so that becomes 12x plus 6y, that's good, now I can eliminate them, equals 15. Every term you multiply by 3. Do yourself a favor and do not forget to multiply that number at the end. Yeah, Many students do, so you make sure you are not one of them who forgets. Okay. Now, it's all very nice, and I will continue with this uh, shortly. But can I just multiply something by 3? Yeah, is that correct? Well, let's have a look at a different equation. Let's look at the equation 5 plus, um, let's say, 4 equals, 5 plus 4 equals 9. Yes, indeed. Let's look at this equation, 5 plus 4 equals 9. Now, if I would multiply everything by 3, is this still going to be true? Is this still going to be the same, if you like? Well, let's have a look. What is 5 times 3? That is 15 plus. What is 4 times 3? That will be 12 equals every term. So also the last one times 3. 9 times 3, 27. And 15 plus 12 indeed is 27. So as long as I multiply all the terms by 3, or by 4, or if I multiply all of them by 7, it is still true. Okay, so back to this situation. I've multiplied them all by 3, and this is still equivalent, if you like. Yeah, But I've manipulated it, so I can work with it. Because now those coefficients of y are the same. They're both 6, so let me put a line there. And I have to decide now, do I add or do I subtract? And you really have to be careful with those signs. Yeah? A positive 6y minus a positive 6y, now you will have eliminated it. Eh? So it is minus. Yeah? But I use my finger, 12y minus, sorry, I start over, 12x minus 3x, that is 9x. And I'm still checking myself, 6y minus 6y, and I really take care of those signs, yeah? Because if that is a negative, yeah, then you will have to do it differently. 
but it's 6y minus 6y and that is definitely zero. I check myself, guys. I want to be correct. I want to be correct. I want to make sure. 15 minus 6, that is 9 as well. There's no reason to rush, yeah? Just do it properly, all right? 9x equals 9, that makes x, yeah? What do I do to get x? Well, I have to divide both sides. Yeah, by 9, both sides, so x is 1. You probably already saw that, okay? So x is 1, fantastic, am I finished? No, because I have to find out the value of y as well. Okay, and how do I do that? Well, I choose one of these equations, I substitute the value of 1 for x in the equation, and I'll find y. I'll do that over here. Which one shall we choose? Well, let's choose the top one. They look similar, and the two equations, so there's not one really easier or more difficult than the other. 4x plus 2y equals 5. I'm going to find the value of y. We know x is 1. So it's 4 times 1 plus 2y equals 5. So that is 4 plus 2y equals 5. So I'm rearranging the formula. This positive 4 really needs to get out of there. But it's only equal if I do the same on the other side. Yeah? So if I take away the 4 here, I've got to take it away there. 2y equals 1. That's fantastic, 2y, but I'm not interested in 2y. I'm interested in 1y, so I divide both sides by 2 at the end. So 1 divided by 2 is a half. So the solution to my problem, to this simultaneous, yeah, solving the simultaneous equations, and we've used the elimination method, x is 1 and y is a half. So before I could work it out, before I could start applying the elimination method, I had to manipulate one of the equations. Now I can imagine that in a, in a different situation you perhaps have to multiply both equations by a particular factor. Yeah? That's something for you to work out. Yeah? Or perhaps leave me a question and I will show you. All right. What I always do with these problems, I check my work yeah, because I want to feel good about myself. 4 times 1, I'm just going to do that quickly here now, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 times a half, 2 times a half is 1, and that should equal 5. Well, that first equation, 4 plus 1 equals 5, that is correct. Eh? Let's look at the second equation, you always have to check both of them, 3 times x, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 6 times a half, if you need to work it out, but I'm sure you don't have to, because six times a half is three, and that should equal six, it says. Three plus three, yes, that is six. It is correct. So my answer, the only possible solution to this problem is when x is one and y equals a half, both of the equations are correct simultaneously. Good, I have more examples for you to look at. Enjoy.